Okay, so this is just a quick unboxing of the Ugreen NVMe SSD. It, it doesn't quite work with the SATA um, available sources in there. Okay. This one costs £21. On Amazon UK, there was like a £6 off voucher. User instructions, installation instructions. So here we have um, we've got a thermal pad. We have the piece that closes it. USB C to USB C. And then another USB A. Easy to differentiate them between my crappy other USB C cables that aren't marked. That probably wouldn't do the same speeds. Just for the drive. Says push. The side is the USB C. When you push it, it unlocks the bay. Ah, so the other one, that one's just a spare one, and it's made out of plastic. There's also an arrow indicating what direction you meant to push it. On the side tab here, and then pushing it. Holds that in. That piece there locks onto that groove inside. It's only on one side, but that groove there inside is on both sides. So you can push it in this way if you want, or you can also push it in this way. It doesn't really matter. Installation wise, it's really easy until it clicks all the way in. Then pull that tab across like that. You can't be pushing that all the way down because it's gonna hit the chip in here. Following that arrow and pushing it back in. And in terms of size, it is a little bit bigger than the Hick Vision. It's also a little bit thicker. Also longer. But it's questionable if that's gonna help with the thermals because of how big it is. I did notice on the Hick Vision the thermal pad actually touches this metal back plate. But on here actually doesn't touch any part of the enclosure unless you put like another layer of your thermal pads but obviously when you close it it's gonna mess it up <laughs> so here we have a uh, the Novo Yoga 7 and it actually has a USB 4 on here capable of driving external GPUs and the max speed through there is 40 gigabit per second Okay, so I have a 30 gigabyte file in here. Properties, 30 gigs. I'm still only just getting 600 megabytes, which I was already getting that from the heck vision. So I'm not really sure what's wrong with it. Okay, so, so I figure I'm not gonna test it uh, using like files I'd rather just see a benchmark to see what it's capable of yeah so it's a lot closer than the 600 megabytes I was getting because 10 gigabit per second actually converts to around 1200 megabytes per second 
Okay, so that's pretty much it. All I like about this one compared to the other one, although this one's smaller, if I put it in my bag you now with the metallic hard drive, I mean laptop, it will obviously scratch it, right? Say you throw it in your bag a lot, your um, SSD with your laptop. This one has the rubber like silicone protection.